Okay, quick shout out to all the users that have sent me stuff over the years. Um, this is just some of the stuff that uh, that you've sent me recently. Um, all the other stuff that you've sent me has been used and I've forgotten everything, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this stuff we've got right here is basically uh, emu oil infused with uh, a few different things. So emu oil, um, this, uh, this is pure emu oil. Um, I like to use that to be a full-on moisturizer that sits on my skin for as long as I possibly can have it on there. Um, and uh, it's it's really concentrated and a little goes a long way. Um, and it works great, um, you know, it works very similar to, to other oils like coconut oil and whatnot. I'm not sure of any other benefits that I may be giving my skin, but it works great as a moisturizer. Uh, same thing with this little bit of balm here. Uh, it's, it's a really oily, creamy balm that uh, that basically just kind of sits on my skin and I let it uh, sit there to <laughs> penetrate those plaque uh, scales that I have. This one right here, this is actually really good. Um, I've used this for myself, um, but more importantly, I've used it for my son uh, whenever he's had a diaper rash. And I put that on his uh, rash area and it goes away uh, within the next day and I'm sure it soothes him very well. So this stuff I really, really, really like. So thank you very much, Carol, for that. Uh, this stuff right here was sent to me by Jeff. Um, and I've got uh, the Dead Sea Salt Scrub, um, which this is what I'm going to use here very soon to uh, give myself a scrub down again, just like you saw in my video when I was at the Dead Sea. Uh, down here, we've got some of his ocean butter. Um, and I've tried a little bit of this, it's very nice. Body butter is very uh, silky and smooth. Okay, moving along, we've got the soap, mud soap. This stuff, uh, yeah, I haven't tried yet, it's still in the box. I've got so many different soaps um, that I'm just trying to get through them, so I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm sure it'll be nice and salty. Okay, this stuff is from Laura in Colorado Springs, hollowed back. Thanks for sending me this stuff. Once again, these uh, soaps, bars, I have not been able to use yet. However, this pure goat uh, milk body lotion. I really like this stuff. Um, it, it sits on the skin. I mean, I've used this quite a bit so far. Uh, and it sits on the skin for a good long time and it makes, uh, makes you feel, makes me feel very nice. Okay guys, so thank you very much for sending me all that stuff and now let's get on to some of the peeling that I've had uh, recently since I've returned from my trip. Okay, so this part right here, um, you know, this, uh, it's, it's a pretty thin layer of skin and it's pretty stuck on. Um, and this is probably about uh, day 14 since I've returned. As you can see there, there's a, a little bit of, of blood there. Um, there's, there's a little bit of the skin just basically sticking um, to the, the, the epidermis, I'd like to call it, the epidermis that is still alive. So that's when it, it, it starts bleeding. It's pulling off a little bit of that skin and those little capillaries are bursting. So right in, in this session, I'm, I'm basically trying to avoid bleeding as much as I can. I didn't, didn't start off very well. Um, but, uh, but this clip, the sound was kind of messed up, so I figured I might just narrate over it and you guys can listen to me talk. Uh, I decided to use the, uh, the dental pick because it's very non, uh, aggressive, uh, compared to using the knife and whatnot. Um, I, I generally like to use the knife for when I'm scraping, um, because it feels good and it, uh, kind of just gets rid of the scales, uh, pretty quickly. Uh, at least the, the, the upper layers of the scales. So when I want to go in for some more detail work, I'll, I'll switch over to this uh, dental pick. Right now, um, the the skin is 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 very hard uh, to remove from the uh, from the skin below, and it's it's just it's just taking a lot of work. And, um, and yeah, I'm have, having a little a little bit of trouble with this set. In the background here, I'm sure you can hear Desi. He's he's sitting here with me. Uh, his mom went out to go grab some some food, and uh, you may hear some some sounds.
but it's better than having it just completely quiet since like I said this the sound on this clip was kind of messed up also I've got the puppy in the room with me I always try to, to brush off the blood as soon as I, I see it coming. I don't know. I, I know YouTube doesn't like to see that stuff, but uh, you know what can you what can you do? So I kind of discarded the the dental pick at this point because th this part of my arm has uh, has has loosened up enough for me to kind of just go in and start picking uh, a little bit. And the reason why I switch over to my, my fingers is it's just kind of, it, it's faster. I don't have to really keep an eye on it. Um, I've been doing this for so long that I can just feel it, uh, feel around and, and grab whatever piece and, and, and just pull it on off. And like I said, uh, I don't want to, I'm trying not to injure the skin as, as best as I can to keep the to keep it from inflaming again. I know somebody said the uh, the pinch method doesn't work too well, but the pinch method is pretty pretty awesome in general. Uh, maybe not for this particular set of stuff, um, but uh, it, it definitely definitely works well for me to to find kind of basically peel the skin from underneath. Um, it lifts it off the skin. My healthy skin will kind of loosen itself. Okay, at this point I've kind of gotten a little fed up of uh, the hard skin, so I thought I might just give it a try to, to knock off some of the stuff with the knife. Okay guys, so at this point I'm getting a little fed up with uh, the, the skin here. It's not all ready to come off, so I'm going to kind of give up here. Um, but thank you guys very much for watching. I did more recording in the net in subsequent days, uh, and I will start releasing those videos uh, tomorrow and through the Thanksgiving weekend. So for now, happy Thanksgiving guys, and we'll catch you on the flip side. And if you are so inclined, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell. And we'll keep you updated with more videos in the future. Thanks again, and we'll catch you guys later.